l'innovation investe in Syrië, dans de TEP, de la side of the border uh, in Turkey. Did you realize at that time when you were young that's a border and I can cross that border? Well, we always have uh, the feeling of borders because it's uh, part of our lives. Uh, as a teenager, I wanted to go to the United States to study and then I knew that uh, it's not easy, I need visa and that means borders. But it became much difficult after the war because literally the borders are closed. So today in the in north of Syria there's war and there's front lines and there is safe country just kilometers far, but the borders are closed. And uh, the story that I'm expecting here about uh, Sargeya, it's uh, Syrian city, it's about the borders because it's literally 50 kilometers from Turkey, but it's completely another world. And because of the borders, it's another land. You was in uh, in Hemis Oort, because your friends you made in uh, Nijmegen, you crossed uh, one day the border with Germany, without problems. That was a strange experience for you. That was a new experience. Uh, actually, it's a beautiful thing that in this part of the world there is no borders. Uh, I went with my girlfriend to Germany and uh, we were driving and she told me that this is the border. And I was like, that's not the border. Like, that's not the border that I know. She said, yeah, this is the border that we have now. There's no borders. What, what did you thought? Is it possible to uh, live without borders in the future where you are living, where you are coming from? I hope so. And after the war, I released that borders are a political thing. It's not, uh, there was no borders before. Uh, borders are political. So I hope that one day in my country, the borders will be not there. You told me uh, you hate the word refugee. Why? Because there is negativity in the world, or at least I feel that. Uh, when I was in Serbia coming here, uh, there was always one road for refugees and another road for normal people, as some people say. Uh, refugee started to have a meaning of second, uh, like second rate uh, human beings. Or, yeah. You are a human being, 